Run for the Show podcast. Um, a lot of th- bands are going and signing record um, servicing deals rather than record deals. You know, it's it's changing on that side of things. And a lot of people can record their own. We, I mean, we recorded our last two albums ourselves, self-produced in our own studios. And we're lucky to be able to do that. So we can go out there, we can record a whole album and then just go to Tony, our manager. There you go. Sell that. Sell that. There's no cost involved to the record label, you know. Yeah, there's no massive upfront recording costs or anything. No. Yeah. Um, and because of technology, you know, uh, you know, I've recorded stuff in this room, which is like 13 feet square. Uh, I've recorded stuff that's been released and sounds as good as, you know, albums that we've recorded at Olympic Studios in London, you know, uh, years ago that cost stupid amounts of money. Um, I've learned a lot over the last 15 years about recording. And, uh, yeah, man, we, 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 we uh, spent a lot of money. Uh, <laughs> we, we, hired a, we hired a stately home in, uh, in the Cotswolds for the second album, uh, uh, which was, you know, insane because it was like a 20 odd bedroom mansion we put a studio in it radio had just come out of it and uh we spent 12 weeks there with with living caterers you know (laughs) it was it was insane you know insane i wish we'd have in a way i wish we'd have saved the money that so we had some more money but it's an experience that we'll never never forget 